Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. Hope you guys are doing well wherever it is that you are. Hello to J Null Zero, wherever you are, buddy. Um, I did a video short on replacing door hinge screws. And it was very well received, kind of like 3,500 views, something like that, which is great, great for me. And then there were a couple of people saying, well, you know, back when they used to do it, all they'd have to do is breathe hard and, and push on it and it would blow the doors in. And, uh, you know, then they would do their thing. And, you know, after a while you get tired of the Meal Team 6 comments, but, you know, hey, it's YouTube. So, take all these with a grain of salt, even what I say with a grain of salt. And there were some people with legitimate comments saying, that is a great idea, but make sure you have your latches set on uh, two inch uh, screws and, and everything. Here's Edward, damn cat. And, uh, and that's a really good concern uh, and, and a good comment. Security is layers. Start at your mailbox or your driveway or the edge of your property that is adjacent to the neighbor that causes you the most grief, that kind of thing. Security is in layers. And it's like an onion. You peel off the first layer, you go to the second layer. You peel off the second layer, you go to the third layer, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it is not well enough for you to have a door that is harder, harder to get into than any other door. Although that's a good thing it's a good start um, because the more time it takes for a person to get into your home, the better off you are. In a legal, lawful situation because the longer it takes them to get into your home, the faster the response is from law enforcement. Now. In most situations, in nearly every situation, I don't rely on law enforcement because they're busy. They're doing their thing, and they've got their things to do, and I certainly understand. So the people that I talk to and associate with that are much smarter than me, you set your security up in layers. Uh, zone 1, Zone 2, Zone 3, Zone 4, Alpha, Beta, you know, whatever it is you want to call it. And make sure that you have X at your gate. In my instance, I have an automatic gate, security gate, so you can only get in and get out. Now, bear in mind, the only people that respect gates and fences are honest people in times of law. Having said that, that's the first layer, and that's also a labor, uh, a layer that allows you to say, well, they came beyond this, and you can see them laying out here now, and I need you to come up and clean the bodies. This is what you have layers of security for. So your zone one, your zone two, zone three, zone four, and your zone one is X, uh, X yards away and your rifle is zone for X or, or, or you know um, ranged in at that this is the kind of way you think about it do you have uh, hedges around your property do you have uh, hedges around uh, your property uh, around the, your foundation and you have uh, ingress and egress windows you know do you have dogs on your property do you have uh, animals that vocalize when something disturbs them when you come up onto the property. Do you have 
lights? Do you have motion uh, sensing lights? Do you have solar motion sensing lights, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So security is a layer and a layer and a layer and a layer and a layer until you get to your door. And then there are other things that, that occur. So while having a really good reinforced front door or a back door or side door or windows is fantastic. It's a great step. We need to think beyond that. What if it takes law enforcement 10 minutes to respond, 15 minutes to respond? Again, I don't count on law enforcement. How long will it take for me to get up and let out my German Shepherds? Uh, because they're in the house with us. How long will it take me? And those aren't the only dogs we have. We have out, outside dogs and inside dogs. How long will it take me to do X? And of course, I'm not going to elaborate and tell you everything that we have because that's just that's just crazy. But I want you guys to think about this and think about it in novel and unique ways. Do you have your chickens set up at a point where they start squawking? when someone walks past the coop uh, at night and do you have a motion sensing light to pop on at, at, at my gate when my, my gate activates I have motion sensing lights that come on automatically and it illuminates and then I'm able to see and I also have the cameras and, and this and this and this do you have a backup system for your cameras do you have night vision associated with this do you have everything tied into something that is off the grid these are the things you need to think about and find your level of comfort. And if you don't want any of it and you're comfortable with it, then God bless you. I'm proud for you. But find out what you're good with, what you're comfortable with, what's your level of comfort. My gate opens, it's 100 yards out. I have a rifle scoped out at 100 yards. That's fantastic. That's how you plan these things. Do you have a little flag up at the end of the thing to let you know which way the wind's blowing? This is the kind of stuff that we think about. And me and my groups, we get together and talk about it. I hope you guys do the same thing because we're not special. We're not exotic. We're not high-speed, low-drag. We're just old men uh, wanting to take care of our grandkids and our wives. Um, so please don't think we're high-speed, low-drag because we are not. We're just old and tired, and we only want to do this once. Think about this stuff, plan, put it out, write everything down, make sure your family knows, and, and don't poo-poo out on the little stuff. Again, we're, we're gonna get into like, uh, uh, okay, you have all these exotic weaponry and all this stuff, how many fire extinguishers you got? Is that security? Yeah, yes, absolutely. How many fire extinguishers you got? You got CO2 detectors, you check the batteries lately. You got smoke detectors, you got smoke alarms, you check the batteries lately. These are the things, that you, you know, yeah, go buy, you know, go buy another thousand rounds of 5.56, five, but I want you to replace the batteries and the smoke alarms and everything too. That goes a long way. So these are just things that we think about and ruminate on and chew over. And uh, there's a whole lot of people out here who do this that I talk to they're much smarter than me and I take their advice and I apply it in my circumstances I want you guys to do the same thing I want you guys all to be safe and I want you to all laugh at me and poo poo everything that I'm telling you about this take care of you people